space. The only issue is this lip, but I don't think it's going to cause too big of a problem since the mattress is 5 inches thick. But I'm going to take this down anyways to see what's behind it. This is a bit crazy. I don't think I want to have this exposed. So I'm going to keep this on top. screwed up the thread, but I'm just pushing it through. Look at that, completely stripped. Alright, well this really set me back. I'm gonna have to go to, back to my farm, which is an hour and a half away, re-thread this. Get a new bolt. Now look how bad it's stripped. Probably gonna have to go one size up on the bolt. I'm 
ended up buying a... Uh... Okay, this worked amazing. It's really, really good. How awesome is that? Hey, I am back at the Home Depot. Had to pick up another one of these 2x2s and a bunch of these guys. Okay, it's good. Oh, this is the update. I put bigger, uh, I guess you can call them beams on top. And this is going to be my box. I think I cut this too long because I want to see how far uh, back I can move the seat. I'm going to cut it just a little bit to see how far back the seat can go. It can go even further back. absolutely freezing outside. Also this is the new fridge I got. It's a uh, 50 quart and it's the biggest size I could find that would fit in my design. I had this piece cut for it which is gonna go at the bottom here to support it. I'm just gonna wing it. It's gonna keep going until uh, 6 p.m. Another two hours. So there's no waiting this out. I gotta continue. So there's a reason behind the big rush of me trying to get this done in a few days. It's not just for the excitement of it, but because of Omicron now, everybody's freaking out um, that the case count's going up so much. Understandable. So rumor is that there's gonna be a major full shutdown here on the 28th which is in uh, five days so I need to be across the border before then because there's a risk that the border is closing and I've been waiting for almost two years to go across the border I have a 170 Sprinter van camper that I've been using and I never finished it because I didn't believe it when they said the border was gonna open this fall I just didn't believe it because they kept promising it would and then they kept extending the closure so I just gave up work on that Sprinter thinking I'm going to be spending another winter here in Canada. And then they actually opened it. So instead of like uh, doing a big project and finishing my Sprinter camper van, which I actually left in pieces, I decided to just buy this Prius V and do a really, really quick camper, forest to forest style, in the Home Depot parking lot. It's, it's pretty cool so far. This is day two, pretty much. I started three days ago, but I didn't get too much done on the first day. So let's see how much I can get done today in this storm.
pieces. Okay, that looks good. spots because it was getting way too busy there so I'm now hidden in a corner let's get the hinges on I don't know if these are strong enough but we can always upgrade later all right so my camera had died that night but uh, I ended up making this thing so when the chairs are fully forward, or as forward as this uh, handrest here, this thing can come up. There it is. And then I'm just going to put a leg. And this is loose right now, so it doesn't exactly line up. But uh, it'll be secure at some point. So something like this. Oh, so I'm now at my farm. This is the first snowfall that I've been here for. My aim is to leave in the next two days. So now I just gotta build these cabinets. I think I'm just gonna build this one and uh, call it a day. the length? 75. It's more than six feet. Okay, there's a little bit of uh, slack here where I have the microwave. So I'm going to support it with two of these guys that secure it to the bottom. Sweet. So I'm trying different layouts. I can easily take out the uh, platform by just cracking the door a little bit. Uh, sunroof which is nice because when I blind or the covers on all of the windows I can still have these open for light and nobody can really look inside connected uh, the inverter and then I ran an extra positive cable all the way to the midsection of the car right here where I'm gonna connect to this AGM battery
five. That's good. Let's go over here to here. Twelve point five. So that's good then. So I'm gonna connect it and then run a uh, run the inverter with the heater, see if it's actually drawing power from here. Look at that. 10 amps coming out of this battery. 11. And I'm getting that heater to run. 13. Okay, so I loaded uh, everything up. Uh, this is everything I'm taking with me, almost. Still got a few things at the farm. Now I'm going to head over to the farm and basically try to organize all of this. I'm going to build some shelving to make more space. And if for some reason I can't uh, fit it all, then i got to get a cargo box. I've arrived. Uh, I have to stop to get some food because it's Christmas Day and everything's closed. Everybody's freaking out here in Ontario about um, Omicron. I'm not going to say my opinion on that because I don't want this to be political. But uh, Christmas is a no-go, so uh, my family, nobody really did anything. I just had uh, dinner with my parents and that was it, so I figured uh, it's a good time to take off. Roads might be less busy going tomorrow. So now i got to unload all this stuff. I'm going to temporarily unload it in here. Actually, you can't see it, but I have another vehicle here on my farm. And um, make room so I can sleep in the back. See how much I get done. It's like almost 7 p.m. here. So I could actually do a bit of work, but it's pitch black. Because here in Canada, in the mid of winter, it gets dark at like 4.30 p.m. Which sucks. Which, which is why I don't want to be here. Wake up bright and early tomorrow and finish the couple other things I need to do and then just take off. I am about one hour away from the border where I am here at my farm. So that's exciting. Okay, I cleared out all the stuff I transported over into my other vehicle. And now I'm going to get the bed set up. These are all the window covers that still have to go on. Okay, okay. Nice. Works. But this is working. I can use this heater to heat up the bed. And this is good because it doesn't need engine heat. It's really cozy so far. Look how dirty my shoes are. It's crazy muddy out there because it's been uh, snowing and melting in the day. Awesome. All right, next order of business is to get heat going. And I'll explain a bit how it works on the Prius. Um, and if you watched other Prius camper videos, probably heard that Prius has a built-in climate control, which you basically set the temperature. It maintains that temperature. It's got a really smart way of doing that. It's got the 12 volt battery there. And you might have seen in my last video that I added a much bigger 12 volt battery under the bed. So now I've got a lot more power. And so it uses Prius high voltage battery, which is the really big electric drivetrain battery to charge the 12 volt batteries which then run the fans of the climate control so if any two of those batteries get low it kicks in the engine and just charges it and uses very little gas doing so uh, but the really cool part is that in summertime the AC runs fully electric it doesn't need the engine the compressor runs off an electric motor 
it takes very little power to maintain a cool temperature inside the Prius, especially when you got insulation. Now the only downside to it is in Priuses that are not prime, so the non-plug-in versions, uh, they don't come with heat pumps, so basically heat comes from the engine. And so the engine has to kick in a lot more frequently to maintain heat inside. So I'm going to try a little idea to get around that. And I've never tried this before. I haven't seen any other Prius camper YouTuber try this either. I'll, I'm going to see if it works, but I'll briefly explain it. Basically, I plug in a air heater that's 500 watts, which is this one here off Amazon. It was like $30. And I plug this into a remote control thermostat so that if it gets lower than, let's say, 22 degrees in here Celsius, this thing kicks in. It's unlikely, unless it gets really, really cold, that the engine will ever have to kick in for heat because this will always maintain it. And so the only time the engine needs to kick in is to recharge the batteries that are powering this, and that shouldn't be too frequent at 500 watts. This is all theory, and I'm gonna test it out. So my dad was really nice and cut these out for me. He made the templates first out of cardboard and then cut them out and then I started adding uh, fabric to the inside to kind of add more of a stealthy look but I didn't get around to doing them all and some of these I haven't even tested to actually fit yet I was like such in a rush to go Real nice, real, real nice. Look at that. Where's the power? Where's the light? There. Oh, look at that. Pretty sweet. All around. Okay, now to do the uh, this side. I actually plug in the heater now, and it's got this little uh, ground switch at the bottom, so if it ever does fall off, it just turns off. It's a little safety feature. It's on. There it is. The voltage went down a bit because there's some draw. Really good heat. Now I gotta get the uh, thermostat. Yeah, look at that. The engine kicked in. We're still at 14.6 volts. Yeah, I see. It's not a perfect fit, but Good enough. Room, that's my laptop. This is the uh, dash cam I bought, and it's got like the best ratings uh, that I've seen for any dash cam. I gotta set this up tomorrow before my long trip. Found some raisins on the seat. So yeah, um, I ordered pizza today. I got this cauliflower pizza, and they uh, gave me the wrong toppings on the first one. So they made me another one for free, and I got to keep both. It's way more pizza than I need or want, but whatever. Can't really complain. Um, this is what it's like now. It's I really like it. Since I can't see anything outside, I'm just gonna close the roof. I'm gonna go get that thermostat for the heater and set it up. All right, I wanna show you what it looks like from the outside. So this is without the cloth on the other side, and this is with the cloth. There's a bit of condensation here that I need to get rid of, like no light coming through. Except for where it's not lined up properly in the front. But overall, it's great. There's the other, um, cloth part. And you can see the other ones over here too. This one. Pretty cool. Let's get the thermostat. Alright, here it is. And this has the uh, temperature sensor right here. Alright, and then it connects to this. Looks like it's connected. And then I hold on. And that should Turn it on. Alright, I got to 
have this manual switch on. And I hold off, should turn off. Ah, pretty cool. Oh, am I crazy here? It's hard to get access to a barber because of the lockdowns and stuff. Alright, look at this. It's it's 20.4 C. I mean 20.4 Celsius. So it should turn off any minute. It's getting pretty hot in here. Look at that. Turned off. Battery still has two bars on the hybrid. Oh, the other thing I never mentioned is I have air circulating from outside to inside. So I'm always getting fresh air being pulled into the inside. I'm not worrying about CO2 poisoning or any of that sort of thing. But in case there is something going on, I brought my air quality meter. No clue where it is though. Found it. It's telling me yellow. So something is not ideal. I bet you it's temperature because it's still cold itself. Like I'm touching it and it's very cold. So it probably hasn't heated up with the ambient air here. So I'm gonna connect to it. Air quality is fair. So VOCs is high, CO2s is decent. I'll place it here for now. Okay, let's get the lights off. It is way too hot in here. Whoosh. Start turning it down. It's weird when I'm in a hotel room, I like having it at like 23, but when I know I'm in a camping setting, I like it a lot lower. Why is that? Oh, that's good. Very comfy. Good night. I'm gonna get up with the sun, which here should be around like uh, 7 38 or so. It's been like an hour since uh, I said good night. But um, I'm having some pizza. It's a pretty comfortable night. I just slept with uh, this tiny blanket the whole time. It was warm enough in here, and it was uh, it almost dropped down to freezing outside, so it wasn't the coldest of it, but. It did very well. I got used to all the sounds, including the engine. The engine is all the water I have left. the next time I'm doing this, I'm doing this inside. Shitty thing is, I can't even order anything off Amazon anymore. Like a pour over device because uh, I'm leaving today. And I won't be able to pick it up from here, so I gotta figure that out on my trip. a uh, platform that sits above these uh, little indentations in the ground so I'm just measuring to see what the height of that is and it's it's just a little bit above it and then I can stuff some things in here as long as I'm not blocking this 
airway, which is to cool down the battery controller for the hybrid. So it's screwed in. I don't like this too much because it's really hard to uh, access anything in here. And over here, I, since I can't really look inside that way. So I'm gonna leave it as is for now just to get going. Okay, what I'm doing now is raising this by three quarters of an inch because it's a little too low. I must have mismeasured earlier. So I've raised this up by three quarters of an inch. So now it's a lot more level with this part. And then I added this for support so that it doesn't sway as much. So this is a whole lot better now. Right, the only flat surface I have here that's semi-clean is my solar panel. So I'm gonna be using that carpet the bed platform. I wish I had a roll-on group. And yeah, the solar panel. So this is the other shelf I'm building. I indented it a little bit so that it doesn't touch the mattress. And then I'm adding this on top. That's good. I'll start with that one. It's 3.40. I got an hour left of sunlight. I gotta finish everything in one hour, including loading all that, finishing this shelf. Looks pretty cool. So I can keep my food here. I'm gonna have to reinforce this. I will probably cover this in cloth at some point. I'm done for today with carpentry. So I'm gonna start loading up. I got a rush, I got like half an hour left. Sun's already going down.